Today, four of my Animal Crossing villagers will be playing the most iconic game maybe of all time, time Minecraft, in what will be the most intense challenge I've ever done on this channel, and maybe the most intense Animal Crossing challenge that exists on YouTube. I'm not playing any games, except for this. Survival mode in Animal Crossing. So take survival mode from Minecraft and put it into Animal Crossing with a lot of the same logic and items, and that's what we're gonna end up here. So I'm gonna have this gigantic little area here where four of my villagers will compete, and there will be a big variety of items. There's gonna be lava, there's gonna be fruit, they're all gonna have health bars, and they're gonna have food bars that will deplete by the minute. And hopefully, they're not gonna have a bunch of wafts chasing them like I just did. Because obviously, the villagers aren't gonna help each other, because look what, well, look what Zucker does. He just watches and cries in the background as I'm dying. Let's waste absolutely no time and get straight into the challenge rules. Just like Minecraft, there'll be tons of natural terrain. There's water on both ends of the platform. Villagers can fish for fish to gain hunger bars back. And then also there's lava. If they step into the lava, they'll lose three hearts. Just like Minecraft, there will be 10 hearts for health and 10 food bars for food as food depletes. Every minute you lose a food bar. So how do you regenerate that? You pick up some fruit or you water the plants, you get some fish, you figure out how to get food. Just like Minecraft, there's even mobs, there's skeletons. Touch them, they will fight back, you'll lose two hearts. Now, let's introduce our contestants. Turn up your speakers, we have Pom Pom in the house. She's the aspiring pop star duck. She's a little clumsy, but she always gets the work done. We'll see how she does. Judy is one of the most famous villagers. Should you beware of her? She is a bear. Bears do pretty well in the wild. They get the fish, they get the meat. I don't know, I feel like bears would dominate in the wild. Anyways, we have Zucker, who is an octopus. He's a lazy villager, so he's gonna have to work really hard this time. He's gonna have to get out of that funk and work hard, or else he might not survive till the end of the night. Next up, we have the legendary Apple, who wants to leave the island. Well, not before you go to the survival games, that is. <laughs> oh, never mind. I guess you just want to rename me Glitter. All right, I'll take it. As a quick reminder, all my villagers start with 10 hearts and 10 food bars. If they lose all 10 of their food bars, they will start losing one heart a minute. If they hit zero hearts, they will lose the game entirely. Again, if they step in lava, they lose hearts. They can gain hearts back by eating a full bar of food and working out. And they can also uh, go in front of the pig to refresh their food. They can fish for food and they can pick up the fruit all around the town. They can also lose hearts from the mobs, the zombies. All right, so it looks like my villagers are all ready to start the game. I'm ready too. All right, in three, two, one, begin. All right, so now all of the villagers are starting. We see Judy, she is singing by the lake. She is serving, rolling in the deep. She's singing ballads by the lakeside. A pretty good strategy because she's not stepping in lava, she's not stepping near skeletons, but it's not gonna be a good strategy because eventually she's gonna run out of food if she keeps doing that. Zucker running right in front of the pig, but you have to put your face in the pig the other side around to get more food back. Apple looking at that juicy, juicy peach. I love peaches, peaches taste great, but Apple decides to pass by it. All right. Pom Pom is just singing in the field of flowers. She's not watering any flowers. Um, maybe we can get some intel on that. Okay, we haven't seen each other in so long. Well, here we are. <laughs> nice to see you in the middle of survival games. I'm going into dance practice. Okay, so she thinks this is dance practice. I guess that's the good mentality to go in. I don't know. I wouldn't think this is dance practice. There's skeletons all over the place. There's lava on the ground. I don't know what kind of dance practices she's been to, but I've been to none. So, all right. So a minute has passed and that means all the villagers lose one hunger bar. All of them still have 10 hearts though. So it's looking pretty decent for the villagers. Nothing too scary has happened yet, but there are a bunch of obstacles. I do also want to announce that round 10, if any of the villagers can get that far, there will be more added obstacles. All right, let's start with round two. This is the second minute of the competition and Zucker runs straight into the, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. He ran straight into the skeleton and the skeleton interacted with him, which means Zucker loses 
two hearts because he interacted with the skeleton. The gotta use your imagination. But just like in Minecraft, the skeleton shot his bow and hit Zucker. You just gotta touch it so it moves its arms to kind of signal the shooting bow arrow effect. So sadly, Zucker loses two hearts. Judy is still singing by that river. She is having a great time. She's going all out. If you look at her facial expressions, she is letting every note have its own moment. She is singing her heart out. Uh, but again, like I said, these villagers have to get fruit and food eventually. Like Apple, who just walked by a fruit. That counts. Your body has to touch the fruit for it to count. Now, one thing I forgot to include in the start of this video is, you know, to, to tell you specifically, was that conversations also boost each other's heart by one. It's kind of like in Fire Emblem or any of the other RPG-style games where bonding can kind of increase the strength and, and skills and smartness of each other. So both of them will gain one heart, both Pom Pom and Zucker, for having a conversation. Anytime villagers converse with one another, they'll gain one heart mutually. Thing is, they haven't lost any hearts yet, and you can't go above 10, so it doesn't really help Pom Pom, but it does help Zucker, who, of course, lost two hearts from the skeleton. So he lost two from the skeleton, and then he gained one from the conversation, so he's back up to nine. All the villagers lost two bars of hunger, except for Apple, who of course ate the cherry, which counts for two bonus health points. So she is back at 10. So Apple's in the lead now. She's doing great. 10 out of 10, not budging a bit. She is full, full of hearts, full of food. She's doing great. Pom Pom still having a solo in the field of flowers. It's very funny. Judy is on the right side scene to the water. Apple and, and Zucker in the middle. Oh, Oh, all right, all right. Walking past the cherry again. Good for Apple. So those two are in the middle while <laughs> Pom Pom is singing to flowers on the left. And she's picking up. The, the, the wind is pretty fast and she is dancing with the wind, dancing with the flowers. It's pretty fun. So Judy's still singing her heart out. Like she is letting every single bit of her mouth like move to the song and dance. She is so committed to it. Zucker and Apple, I actually have more faith in because they are, you know, they're, they have agency. They move. They have things to do. They're getting bonus points. They might walk into lava once in a while. Oh, Apple's very close to lava. Will she step into it? Lava is the most detrimental thing in this game. She turns around from it, ignoring that minus three health curse that would ruin her. She would lose three hearts if she stepped into it. But she's fine. She's not going to lose any hearts. Pom Pom is getting even more deeply into it she has her beautiful pink purple shell dress on and she's having a full-on performance like no one's watching oh my gosh an apple apple walks through the flame walk through a burning pit of fire and loses three hearts so she was the leading lady for a while there but she now is down to seven hearts because she just lost three for stepping into the lava all the villagers also lost one hunger point one hunger bar because Okay, like I said, every round, every minute, every round is one minute long. They lose one hunger each round. So let's move on to the next round. This is the fourth minute of the comp competition. And it seems like we have a mutual conversation between Apple and Zucker. This is going to help both of them out because, uh, well, Apple had a little bit of a moment there in the lava, didn't she? While Zucker, on the other hand, he had a moment. He had a little bit of a... A fight with a skeleton that he lost so they both can use this bonus heart they're talking about fashion you know it's good when you're in a survival mode it's good to think about what you'll do after you finish surviving like zucker is gonna go back to eating bugs off the floor and apple's gonna start becoming like the agatha of the pop world and apple you just missed it apple did just walk past the cherry and what is this over here? Oh, shoot! Judy even was like, wow! <laughs> She's like, no! Uh, yeah, Judy went straight from singing by the lake to hanging out with skeletons. And she was better off singing to the lake. Because now she is in last place with the least amount of hearts and least amount of hunger. Now, Apple, she actually gained a heart because she regained all of the food back. Once you get back to that 10 hunger points, you also gain a heart back. Kind of like in Minecraft when you have full hunger, you gain a heart. 
same thing here. So she, she ate a bunch of fruit, which helped her hunger and also gained her some hearts. So she is doing very good now, uh, just hanging out, having a good time. She just missed that cherry right there, though, uh, which, you know, it wasn't going to help her too much. They're all just chilling. Apple and Zucker are having little conversations by the lakeside while Judy is back to singing. She she gave up on her skeleton career and went right back to her singing career, which definitely is, is paying off for her. She is not getting in any trouble. She's just singing. Same with Pom Pom to her left. We got our two singing sisters. They are hanging out, just singing, having a show. Pom Pom's doing all right. She isn't hurting anyone. <laughs> if you look at the health, uh, Pom Pom is losing hunger fast. But Judy, on the other hand, yikes, not going well for the Queen of Pink because she is in last place right now. Zucker losing food fast and Pom Pom, they have the same score actually. While Apple in the lead with a solid 9-9. She's looking very solid on both sides of the spectrum. All right, so there's a piece of cherry right there. Who's, oh, but if you look to the left, folks, Zucker was standing in lava. He's our first ever octopus that swam in lava i think that's probably the first time it's ever happened in human history right maybe not i don't know what you guys are up to but zucker is the first ever octopus to swim through lava and it's not a good sign because he just lost three hearts not looking good for the octopus all right so anything's possible in this game though switch ups can happen very fast uh front runners can go to front losers very quickly i can i can imagine with all this lava with all this lava. Oh, uh, we got Pom Pom and Apple. They're like hanging out together. They're walking in unison. And that was the end of that round. That round was pretty, pretty tame. Nothing much really happened. Everyone, of course, losing their hunger. That's the thing. This isn't like the other challenges I've done where people can just be patient and, and hang out and wait for things to happen. They're all losing hunger very quickly. And they're going to have to pick up the pieces of their Lego house and go build some Lego food or something because it is not looking good for a lot of them. Because Zucker stepped into lava and lost three hearts, Apple now has the most amount of hearts while Apple has the most amount of food. So those are two front runners right now. But will they lose? We'll see. Oh, Apple. Oh, ruin it immediately, girl. I was rooting for you. We're all rooting for you. She's not just walking past the lava. She is bathing in it. Oh, my gosh. Roasted apples, everyone. Oh, my gosh. She just lost three hearts. Not looking good for Apple. Pom Pom, I'm nervous. Oh, she just dodged it. She just dodged it. Woo, that was close. Oh, Apple, will she push her good for- Oh, no, no, you're doing so good, Pom Pom. She was avoiding the lava, but she she sidestepped it. She She's like, I, I can't stand next to Apple for any longer. I gotta get out of here. Oh, they both push each other out of the way from the sherry. They both need those sherries. They need all the positive points they can get. Round seven is done, and two of our fan favorites, at least the people I'm rooting for, have plundered a bit. Pom Pom and, and Zucker tied for last place now with only three bars of food and seven hearts, while Apple has the least amount of hearts with only six. She's got a lot of food behind her, though, so she is still not really out of this race. They're all kind of pretty close. We have a front runner change, but it looks like it's about to change again because Pom Pom just grabbed herself a peach with the left side of her fin or whatever ducks have. I don't know what they're called. And then Zucker, Zucker's pushing, pushing Pom Pom out of the way. He said, get out of the way, girl. It's my peach. They're like fighting at Kroger's over this peach. Uh, that one was close, but I'm not going to count it. It has to look like the, the, whatever part of their body touched the fruit, like has to like really touch it, like kind of go through it. So I'm not going to count that second peach for Pom Pom, but this round is pretty intense. They're fighting over a fruit right now. Apple looks, is looking at those two cherries. Is she going to jump for them? I don't know. And Zucker coming back for that peach again. Is he going to touch it? We'll see. Seems like it's, it won't be the case. Oh, 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 he twisted it. To, oh, his his back octopus fin tail octo tentacle thing. That, yeah, yeah. It touched it. It touched it. So he gets plus four fruit this round. He's been touching fruit. Oh, my gosh, an apple. Practically addicted to the lava at this point. Hangs out in the lava, and this was a tumultuous round. The front runner, one of the front runners, Apple, just completely torched, no pun intended, her chances here, losing six hearts from lava. Zucker gained a lot of food from touching two peaches, while Pom Pom gained a little bit of food, and Judy has the most amount of hearts. She's got the heart 
But she doesn't have the five stacks of ribs required to win this game. So I'm still nervous for Judy because it could bite her back real quick. Because she's going to start losing hearts real fast if she doesn't get some food quick. Alright, so Pom Pom's walking around. Apple's walking around. Zucker is taking a page out of Judy's book and just sitting by the water. Which might be the right choice for him right now. He's got to avoid that lava at all costs. Uh, Judy's hanging around the skeleton but doesn't look like she's really doing much. She's just kind of dancing around. So... Uh, Pom Pom sneaking up behind uh, Zucker the second he checks out, you know, turns around. She's like, ah, she's stunned and she turns around with him. She's acting, uh, she's acting dumb, but Pom Pom is honestly one of the smartest competitors out here on this challenge. Uh, they're all kind of just in the center now. They all kind of are playing a little scared. They're like, are you going to move? Are you going to move? They're all kind of watching each other like, hmm. So not much happened in this round, round nine. Uh, only food is escaping. If you look at Judy, she only has one little piece of food left. And once that gets to zero, you instantly start losing one heart around, which is going to be very difficult to fix because she's going she's gonna to have to keep eating food and food and food so it doesn't keep happening. So it's going to be a very dangerous game. And when you start looking for that fruit, you also start accidentally stepping in lava. So it's a dangerous game, folks, and I have no idea who's going to win. It's actually very close. No one's a clear winner just yet. We'll see. Round 10 is coming close. And after round 10, uh, we're going to have a lot more obstacles. All right, so Apple over here dodging the cherries. She's going to need some, some defense. Everyone here needs some fruit right now. Everyone here needs some hearts. Everyone here needs could use a pick-me-up oh but zucker ah this is the thing the tentacles are really good because they can pick up those fruits very easily oh you just step through a fruit that's great but if you look slowly the tentacles have a very wide range and they can pick up that fruit just as quickly as they pick up those flames so it's a double-edged sword here zucker picking up some food but losing some hearts on the way out oof Right now, it's not looking great for Judy, who is now losing hearts by the minute as she has zero food remaining. While Zucker, Zucker has a balanced set. So does, so does Apple. Apple's a little low on those hearts, though. One lava could take her out. Right now, I would not want to be Judy with zero food remaining. Now, something actually really wild happened. As I was getting the items for round 10... Pom Pom actually left the area. I was like, what the heck? I thought when you go to your house, no one can leave. But I guess somehow she teleported out of the area here, which was very scary. But as you can see, I'm adding lots more fire. The lava is dripping. It's spreading very fast, which is going to be very scary because that, of course, is the biggest obstacle for uh, this game so more lava means more potential for these villagers to step in lava which is honestly the scariest the scariest part of this challenge is you can go go ahead and grab some cherries gra grab some fruit but you might accidentally be stepping in lava on your way there so next to the pig i'm adding a puppy which is going to be the wolf if you remember in in minecraft there's a wolf and it doesn't do a ton of damage but it will do one heart. So the wolf here, if you touch it and it starts moving at you and you get close to it while it's moving, it has to be moving. It has to be like biting like that. It will do one heart every time it starts biting you. So it, it, can, it can rack up damage fast. And then over here we got an ink, a little octopus. I like to call him Zucker too. If you interact with that thing, if you start looking at it and interacting with it, then you lose to hunger bars. Like I said, I can't find Pom Pom anywhere, so I look no further than her house. And of course, she's right here, chilling, having a ball. I'm like, Pom Pom, we're filming a video. <laughs> she's a smart, I told you, she's smart. She might play dumb, but she is extremely smart. She is, she knows how to get out of places. So I had a time skip and she's back. Everyone's back now with new outfits. And we got all of the new obstacles here. And it's now time for round 11. And the first thing Judy does is goes and plays with the wolf. Well, girl, I know it looks like a cute little puppy, but that thing bites. So she loses one heart. She turns it off immediately, immediately though, which is pretty smart. Zucker having the time of his life, by the way. He's like, he could not be happier. He's like, I think I'm about to lose soon, which is good. <laughs> like, no, no, believe in yourself, Zucker. You got this. You got this. 
Judy bringing out her broomie. <laughs> she brought out a broom and she's sweeping up the competition. But she's also sweeping up lava. I don't know. She's getting dangerously close to this lava. She also has a dangerously amount of hearts left because she has no hunger. It's kind of scary, Judy. So, you know, let's look at the stats now because uh, not too much changed. But if you did see earlier, Judy did grab a fruit this round, but only grabbing one fruit is not going to do much because you still lose one hunger no matter what each round. And she did get the wolf treatment this round, so she's down one heart. It's looking pretty even though. If you look across all the stats, it looks like Zucker's in the lead with Apple right behind him, but Apple's only got three hearts. That only takes one lava, lava jump, <laughs> jumping in the lava. And uh, that would be the end of Apple, sadly. So it's 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 looking dangerous for everyone. So we're we're seeing some hanging out sessions over here. Uh, Apple running into Judy. Uh, I don't think it's strategic. I think she's just having a good time. But maybe potentially trying to shove her into some lava. Apple is cutthroat. Apple is cutthroat. She's looking at Cherry. Uh, she she might be cutthroat, but she also cuts cherries because she just ate a cherry. Anywho, we have a conversation between uh, Zucker and Judy, which is great because she needed a pick-me-up, all right? Judy needed a plus one heart because things were getting dangerous for her, and she needed it. All right, so this conversation's going down. They're talking about riddles, a good way to pass the time and not jump into lava, so I'll consider it good strategy. Uh, but while they're talking, it looks like Apple's going up to the wolf and she eats it. And, you know, the wolves, they don't care, all right? They are going to go for it. And uh, she turned it right off, so she only loses one heart. I wonder if any of the villagers will just keep on pressing it. They would lose all their hearts. It'd be wild. So that was the end of this round, round 12. And, uh... Judy only having four hearts and no food. Uh, Pom Pom having six hearts, but now she has no food either. So it's going to be a downhill battle for uphill battle. I don't know what sayings are. Meanwhile, Apple only has one heart. She has the most food. She has a bunch of food. Round 13 starts, and it starts with Apple sitting in lava, literally just standing it. The second I said start, she was, she was just bathing in the lava. Not good. The only way she can save herself is if she had, like, maybe a conversation or ate a bunch of fruit. And Zucker also standing in the lava. Oof, not good for Zucker. He's He was in the lead by a good amount, and he just kind of burnt it away. Burning bridges and also burning away his hearts. Not good. Not good for good old Zucker. Not good at all. If I were to give advice to these villagers, I say Judy needs to pick up a fruit stat. She is close to one, and she has a broom, which could sweep it up. I will count that if the broom touches it. Oh, but she also touched it, which is good. There's, like, a ladybug, like, laying in the lava, which might attract one of the villagers to go jump into it, which I'm a little scared of. I'm, I'm happy for Judy. She needed that food, so she's probably going to survive a little bit longer. Uh, Apple only has until the minute is up. She needs to find a way to gain some hearts back or else she will be eliminated when this minute is up. Judy bringing out her uh, umbrella. That was cute. But sadly, it is time for Apple to leave. She's like, if you want to hang out, get out of the rain, you can come to my place. I'm like, well, good timing because you just got eliminated. <laughs> Roasted apples. Oh, she's just going kaboom. She's like, She's like reenacting the, the thunder and the lightning right now. I'm like, oh, calm down, girl. This isn't a 4D movie theater. I'm like, calm down, calm down. But sadly, Apple is eliminated. She is out of this competition, and that makes it a three-person, three-animal race between Judy, Zucker, and Pom Pom. Who are you rooting for? Right now, the stats are extremely even. They actually all add up to five. Pom Pom has five hearts, zero hunger. Uh, Judy has four hearts and only one hunger bar. Zucker has two hearts and three hunger. I would personally say that Pom Pom's doing the best right now because two hearts is very scary. You step into that lava, you're eliminated. So it's we saw it happen to Apple. It's very, very, very scary. And Pom Pom, very close to the to the, to the lava. It doesn't matter how much rainy it is. If you step in the lava, that's lava, folks. But she stepped away from it. She's a smart queen. I told you, she's a smart queen. Uh, but they're hanging out. Zucker and Pom Pom, they're hanging out by a fruit. Uh, neither of them have touched the dog just yet. They've Oh, shoot. This thunder's real. 
Wow, I haven't really been into too many thunderstorms here in Animal Crossing. I'm like, wow, I really should take up Apple on that offer. It's, it's scary out here. Oh, my gosh. They're both getting kind of scary, scarily close to the lava. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Wow, they're both just hanging out in the lava. They're like, wow. It sure is thundery and watery out here. Maybe I should go jump into some lava. No, that's not the that's not the right move. No. So sadly, Pom Pom is down to one heart. And Judy, good old Judy, is out of the competition. Zero, zero. Zucker leading very strongly with 2-2. Two, two. It's going to be very hard for Zucker to not win this. Pom Pom, it's an uphill battle. I accidentally forgot to let Judy out, so she's just gonna be hanging out while they do it. It's fine, they can hang out with her. If Pom Pom doesn't find food before the end of this round, she will be eliminated. Zucker just needs to hang out. He just needs to hang out and he'll win this thing. But if Apple can grab a fruit by the time this round is over, wow, that lightning is tough. She will be able to win. She's the only one without the umbrella. She is like, I don't need an umbrella. I just need myself, and I need to find these fruits stat. Zucker steps into the lava and loses. Oh my gosh. That means Pom Pom is the winner, folks. Pom Pom is the winner. Unless, unless, folks, she doesn't get a fruit by the end of this. Oh, oh. She touched it. She I saw it. You saw it. She touched it with her fin. She did it. She won. She did it. Pom Pom is the winner. She got the fruit before the end of the round. It would have been a tie. We'd have to redo it if she did not get that fruit. But she did get that fruit, and she won. If you take a look at the health bars, Zucker did have one hunger left. But, sadly, he lost all of his hearts when he jumped into the lava which is enough to eliminate you. It doesn't matter how many of those little steak things you have. If you lose all your hearts, you're out, which means Pom Pom is, of course, the winner. Let's talk to our losers and the winners. Uh, so we're talking to Judy. She says, oh, dear, look at that thunder, but away your golf clubs and umbrellas. Something about static shock or something. I don't know. And then Pom Pom says, long time, no chat. I think we've been so busy we forgot to talk to each other. Yeah, I guess you were busy winning this competition. Do you need something? Let's talk. Did you know I'm basically a beach volleyball pro? We should hit the beach and play. Well, we're at one right now. Me and Pom Pom went out. We played volleyball. We had a great time. No, I'm kidding. That never happened. <laughs> that never happened. But as a prize, I didn't really have any prize set out for this. So I grabbed... I grabbed one of the skeletons and I gave her one of the skeletons. You know what? It's better than nothing. So let's see. Does she like it? Wait, for realsies, a skeleton? All right. She seems happy. There's an exclamation point. Oh, she loves the color. What, like grayish white? I don't really know what, what color that is, but I guess she likes the color of skeletons. I don't know. I don't know, folks. I don't know. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was one of the longest challenge and most intense I've ever had here. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell if you want to watch more of these. And if you want to watch more right this second, there's a playlist right in front of you full of Animal Crossing challenges just like this. Make sure to comment down below your favorite moment of this challenge, and I'll see you next time. Thank you to all my members. If you want a membership shout-out, all you got to do is become a member of any tier. You get a shout-out in every single video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>